Hi everyone, this is Yann Camus of Bliss Climbing and today I want to tell you about a lanyard that I, look, I use a lot and I love is the Petzel Adjust Evolve. Um, it's a double lanyard, so very good if you're aid climbing. Initially, I thought it was rated for securing myself to the cliff, but then looking at the technical sheet, I see that it is not rated for securing myself, but rather just for aid climbing and body weight only. Now, I use it to secure myself clipping both strands. See further in the video uh, to look at the rating of this device. So the, the whole lanyard on my scale To 67 grams. The way Pedzel recommends to install it on your harness, you have this uh, uh, loop at the end, you pass it inside the belay loop, and the two ends pass inside that uh, lanyard loop for girthage. That's it, and now you have the two points of connection. You can see that right there. There are two kinds of buckles, it's uh, adjustable, it's very well made. Um, they just look a little bit like small grigris and uh, there's no moving parts. So it's just a single piece of metal and the rope goes through it. And you see, you will clip the carabiner right in that hole. I love to use uh, an oval that is a locker. Um, why a locker? Because I use those lanyards to um, secure myself to the cliff and I love the security of a locker. Um, and then an ov oval. Uh, why? Because when I clip this carabiner, this buckle is very free to move. Uh, if the carabiner is too narrow, then it might um, hang a little bit and then the self-locking action of this buckle may release and then you'll slide down. But then, better than that, if I need to clip another carabiner on its side, it will usually just work as good. You can clip the carabiner on either side and it, it still works, so this is incredible. So, one thing I don't like about this Pedza lanyard, the original length of the lanyard is too much. I mean, I cut it, this one, and it's still long enough for me to get the, the, the best reach I can. So I made some barrel nuts at the right spot for me to get the maximum reach. And then in order to tighten this barrel nut so it's permanent, I hung the rope on one side, I put an ascender on the other side of the barrel nut and I hang myself and jumped on it so it's incredibly tight and then uh, I just cut I let two inches and I cut it and uh, I burned the end and I did that on both sides so the parts that I cut 30 grams so a regular uh, carabiner not bad. I can throw it to the garbage, really. So, in order to make it easier for me to recognize how to use it, I put some black tape on the side of the buckle that I have to push up to release. So, if my lanyard is too tight to reach where I want to clip, I just grab it pushing my black tape like this. I extend it, then I clip it, and then I pull on my barrel nut. If I want to lower myself a little bit, I can relieve a little bit of the weight, then turn the device, lower myself, and then let it go. Or I can pull on this rope to help me release the device, 
So I will try to lower myself uh, without relieving the weight on the buckle. Ah. No, I'm not strong enough. Uh, seems impossible. So you have to relieve uh, some of the weight. Yeah. That is not that easy compared to, for example, the Yates adjustable uh, daisies. But the Yates adjustable, they are not uh, foolproof for a factor two fall. So this device is rated for body weight only, but you can find an article by Alpinist that states that the Evolve is made out of the Paso Guide double and twin rope by Petzl. Uh, it would be a 7.7 millimeter rope and it would weight 40 grams per meter. But when I measure this rope, I still get around 9 millimeter. And then if I weight my two small pieces here, uh, I have 50 centimeter here weigh, weighing 30 grams so that makes 60 grams per meter and that's the weight of a single rope and also uh, when I compare it to uh, this Pedzel rope uh, it's a dragonfly I believe so it's a half rope the Evolve seems to be a thicker rope so thicker than half rope could be a nine millimeter it makes sense uh, and could be rated as a single line not the weight of a half or twin rope so in the end i'm not sure what type of rope it is and the the way i use it i just make sure i clip with both ropes and if it's this rope is dynamic and rated as a double or twin rope, then being clipped on both sides make me feel confident. So I'm just describing you what I do with my Evolve and you have to draw your own conclusions. If you have the Dual Connect or the Connect Adjust by Pedzel, uh, both of these lanyards have much thicker rope and you can find on Petzl website that they have tested it with some factor two falls and that uh, they, they seem to be much stronger than the Evolve. Now, one thing you should not do is clip yourself here and clip someone here, for example. Like this, I clip myself and I, I would clip someone at the bottom here. What it will do is that it will uh, pull very badly on this stitch here. So uh, that you cannot, you should not do that. Now, the way that I put it on my harness when I don't use it is very important because most of the time it will sit on my harness, right? So I keep a length of a quick draw maybe right there with the slack and the barrel knot. I clip it on my left and there is a little bit of loose here. I do the same with the other one and I can choose between clipping it separately from the other binner or inside the other binner if I want to uh, relieve some space on my harness. Uh, but then I have some loose parts here that are a little bit too long for me and I could just, it could mess up with my knee when I climb. So what I do is when I get a stance and I get a, a chance, uh, I will uh, just do a overhand loop knot like this and keep it a little bit loose. And I do the same with the other one separately. Um, and that way uh, the length is just perfect now it doesn't mess with my knee anymore. So now if I'm climbing and I want to clip myself, 
I undo the overhand loop with one hand. I can extend my leash, clip it, tighten, that's it. So thanks for watching. I hope uh, you learned something and please, I must have forgotten something really important. So please uh, comment below and I will be extremely happy to read you. Thank you so much and talk to you soon. Bye.